Hello, everybody, and welcome from beautiful Spokane, Washington. I'm joined with my very good friend, uh, Jerry White. You can see in the background uh, reflection in the windows. We've got uh, a mountainous setting here. This is a great place to be, especially on a 100 degree day. We're sitting outside and uh, not the sunshine, but looking at it. And we welcome everybody from all around the world. Um, we kind of called you out as you came in. Tonight, we have a special meeting. Uh, we're, we're at a um, an ASEA training meeting. This is the evening part of that where a CFI will uh, kind of piggyback and tag on to some special uh, associate and diamond training. So Jerry, <clears throat> you've been a part of this. What's been going on up here? Well, we divided some of our diamonds to our house <clears throat> and they came over and they, and they made it. It was pretty amazing. Good. One of the great things about that is that uh, as you go through life, I remember when I uh, first got married to my wife, well, I was coaching swimming. And she was one of my assistant coaches. In fact, the assistant, I mean, the, she was probably the lead coach, but I, I called myself that. She um, and I would work on the simple basics over and over again every day with new kids, kids in various levels, even up to world class. And when we got together after hours and wanted to do some work, she can swim. And, and, and I got that chance to celebrate being with people who were exceptional. And that's what happened this week is we brought some people who are exceptional at what we do. Exceptional in their heart and in their lives, the way they live them, and in their devotion to what we do. Man, what a way to spend your day. What a way to spend your life. It's been, we got a chance to come together and do some, some uh, team building, some visionary work, uh, developing the future that we really want to have as a group of people. And just took that time and carved it out. Just imagine if that's what you could do for a living. So what, what is the takeaway? I mean, everybody here throughout the world watching this um, wasn't here, obviously. So that if you could put something in their brain, a takeaway that came out of what you've learned and gathered here, what would that be? Well, the big takeaway from this week has been to live to the most inspiring life that you can attain. Many of us were inspired by the most of the people that are in that lead group that had come this week uh, have have been affected by the inspiration of the Norton family, first with Virtus and then with Tyler, and then inspired with the concept of this radical change in technological advancement, inspired with the concept of what we can do to make a difference in the lives of people. Well, those issues at our heart are some of the most important issues that we put our efforts toward and we wanted to come by and remember that we that was what drove us to this point in the first place we oftentimes get stuck on the idea that it's purely about the product technologies and how they affect the human system but it's so much deeper than that so much richer than that if you have that realization that it's something that if we bond together and we have shared human experience and then we create a vision together, we have a similar definition for a lot of things. You're going to hear a definition tonight for a, for a concept you may not understand. It's called tribum. And that makes everybody laugh that was here. And you'll, you'll pick up on this idea of how we are coming together to build something that was a greater vision than any one of us had together or individually and now together and it's been incredibly fun to open up new vistas new windows new new ideas and concepts it was an idea like that i saw when i first got into this industry was i wanted to have a progressive series of experiential events for those people who get to that point of expertise where you get to celebrate with other people that are at your level to slingshot yourself to the next level up and make it at first like a summer camp where you do a bunch of things you thought you were too old to do anymore. Come back to the realization that there's no limits. And that's really what we picked up this week. That's really cool. And of course, I, I like to focus on the complete, the whole package. This isn't just a transaction that uh, 
earns income, although it can do that. This is about really helping people and, and bless their lives. Helping people, so. yes. And and here's the first step that has to happen. You have to get good enough at it so that you get done with you. And so many people are stuck in that spiral of I'm the they can't get out of the awareness of that small little world into a bigger world. And and so what we want to do is to to get done with that part so we mm -hmm. can turn around with other people. Am I on? I, I don't know. But he's okay. Okay. We're trying to get that going. We're trying to stop the music. Tell you, pull the plug on the music. It's a little okay. red plug. For Talk those, on the for those of you work. looking in, we've got two meetings going on here, and we're piggybacking off that. And this is going to give us the opportunity to bring um, uh, hopefully several of these leaders um, and put them right here in this chair and to talk with them, or at least have them give their uh, their first takeaways. Uh, our first one we have on deck is, thank you, Jerry, is uh, Donalyn Dominguez. <clears throat> she has been on a, uh, a recurring basis on the ASEA 5, and she joins me here uh, live in this great area of Spokane. It's, it's been fun to finally meet her in person. Um, she's been hanging around to see her for some time. How long? Three and a half years. So three and a half years. And uh, for those of you who've been with the CF5 and watched her uh, presentations, you'll know that she is a, uh, a now retired or mostly retired uh, midwife uh, who has helped a lot of moms uh, bring some precious people into this world. And so I'd like to have you take a few minutes and uh, give us your take on ASEA, what it was like here today and uh, kind of what your story is. Okay, all right. Um... Today has been amazing. Well, the last two days. We've been here since Wednesday, and we did a lot of team building things that we didn't know what to expect, but Jerry put us through the ropes. And uh, he had us climbing mountainsides and canoeing and kayaking and driving boats and things that uh, Chris and I have never done. So it was fun, it was challenging, it was a little scary at times, but it felt so good to watch the team come together and everybody help everybody. And we all had a great time and we all won. So it was, it was an amazing experience, adventure. Today we played games and uh, did things like learn to shoot a bow and arrow and then had to compete. I mean, really? But it was great. It was fun. Balloon throwing contest. And so we've had a blast, but the most important thing that I think that I've gotten is uh, we have the most amazing people in this business. Uh, people I would have never met in any other way, except to be a part of it. And they are family. They are our, uh, you know, we all talk about having a church home, this is like a church home, except maybe closer because we do life with these people. And when something goes wrong, they're the first ones we reach out to. So that part has been just overwhelming good, fill our hearts good. And as far as the product and all it, I mean, I fell in love with it first because uh, it gave me my life back. And then I realized what the company was. And then I realized who the people are. And they're the people I want to spend the rest of my life hanging around. So that's cool. Well, thank you for stopping by you and sharing welcome. your great spirit and your ASEA testimony. There. Thank, thank you, you Dylan. Uh, the next person who's going to join us and tell us a little bit about how the world spins is Nancy Walker. Uh, we're actually at her home. You're seeing, uh, the, again, the reflection of some of her property uh, in the in the glass yeah. here behind us cool. uh, here in Spokane. So if you could share with our CFI audience and friends, you know, what is it that ASEA means to you? What's this experience been like? And what will be your ASEA takeaway? All right. <clears throat> Thank you, Lee. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, what I have to say is that uh, my journey with ASEA is a little bit different. Oh, a little bit different than many that you hear in ASEA. Uh, my husband, D Dr. Dick Walker, and myself, we were not um, desperate financially. Like there, there's a lot of stories of people who have really suffered that way in their life. That was not our story. We had our dream home. We had uh, raised four children. 
and paid for their college educations. But to do that, we had to work all the time. We were in a habit of working. I mean, a 15 hour day was nothing for us. And we did that our whole married life. Um, Dick worked nights, I worked days, and we just made do. Uh, we saw each other uh, on occasion, but, uh, and then uh, I took care of 150 alpacas, did all the vet work. I took care of Dick's mother for 15 years, cooked for her twice a day. We had no time and I had no friends. And I never really realized it till my younger son who had a lot of friends said to me, you know, mom, he said, you shouldn't be in that stinky old barn all day uh, with the alpacas. You should be having martini lunches with your friends. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's not really me. I could do without the martinis in the middle of the day, but I wouldn't mind having some friends. And I didn't think that that's what a SIA was for me and until now. I have friends across the United States. I have friends all across Canada. Uh, I have friends in Mexico, and I never thought that I would have this many good friends. And I tell you, and like-minded friends who ha are filled with compassion and caring for other people, you could ask anything of them if they're an ASEA person and just be assured that they would do anything they could. If you needed something, they'll do it. So that's what it means for me. Thank you, Lee. What, what, is your, what is your vision of the future? Uh, but, you know, my vision uh, of the future with ASEA, of course, it isn't medicine, but it's a different way. It's changing healthcare forever. And it's teaching us that we need to work with the body's own ability to heal itself. And that is going to change healthcare and it's going to change people's health forever. But also, it's changing my personal life because we're retired now. And when I went down to the social security office with Dick and we applied for social security, uh, I couldn't believe how little it was. <laughs> and there's a lot of people living on social security. And I, I left and I, I couldn't even speak. I was like, that's all we get after all these years of working. And uh, so for ASEA can help so that you don't have to downsize your life. You don't have to downsize your life and your income when you retire. You can do all the things you dreamed about, like Dick and I, that we put on hold all those years that we looked forward to enjoying. We actually can enjoy them now. So, That's really cool. Yeah. Thank you, Nancy, for thank stopping you. by. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. Yeah, thank you. Well, we're having so much fun here in Spokane, even with some of the flies running around, but. We'd like to invite Denny Robinson to come and sit down with us. Um, everybody here is a hero of mine, but especially oh. Denny. <laughs> um, she is uh, got so many words of wisdom, and we see her all the time on Facebook and the internet and with all things ASEA. I'd like you, if you would, to share with the ASEA 5 audience <laughs> what it is that ASEA means to you, what it means to be a leader, and what's the opportunity here? Oh my gosh, you guys, it's great to be here with all of you. You know, on Facebook, one of my memories that just showed up this week is that 10 years ago today, um, we were doing an event in Spokane and I had over a hundred people at my home. And that was kind of the story of, you know, I started doing local meetings in Tom's office in January. And I was really just Denny, the um, director 700 being, you know, paid it probably director 300. And then within a few months, because we were utilizing um, the fast forward program, um, I went from silver to, to gold in March and then to diamond that July on my birthday. And when the company came a few months later, even we had um, over 250 at a meeting. And I actually had Virtus in my, in my backyard as well. We did a big dinner with 250 in the backyard. And... Um, <clears throat> You know, often I think I shudder to think what my life would be like and the lives of so many other people that I've been able to be a conduit for good because I opened my mouth. And that's what I would say to all of you here. Um, it's worth it. Every successful people person that I know throughout this profession, and I know many, um, would tell you that it's worth, it's worth a struggle. It's worth um, 
sometimes, you know, that, that one more thing, the one more thing, that extra email, the other ATM, making the reach out. And, you know, I remember years ago as well, I remember I was in um, Sweden, and of course they speak five different languages at least, but um, I didn't understand the language that night the presentation was being done in, but the same emotion that we see when people describe what ASEA has done for them is what I felt. And because that's kind of universal. And, you know, Lee, I, <clears throat> I sat in the back of that room and I just started weeping like a little girl thinking because I opened my mouth in little Spokane, Washington, this story has continued to proliferate around the world. And, you know, to be someone like me that has a PhD, a public high school diploma, who now can live a life far beyond what my circumstances would have allowed. I came from a small town. I graduated from 28 kids. Again, I have a high school diploma. Nowhere else but network marketing do I believe that you can change your life so abundantly by changing the lives of other people. To me, it's just such an incredible form of true business. And for us to have this technology, what a gift we all have. And, you know, I was lucky to be able to travel the world literally with Burtis Norton. And um, <clears throat> many of you have heard me say before, I remember asking him, you know, Burtis, why are you doing this? And one time he said to me, you know, Denny, I've often thought about that. I've already left my family a fortune. Now I'm going to leave the world a legacy. And I always just said, you know, you lead and I will follow. And I said, it will be my mission to make that vision come to fruition. And, and that's what it's done. The other thing is, um, again, my belief in his vision. And I promise you, for those of you who maybe are just getting started right now, hold on to our vision and our belief. Because, you know, 10 years ago, when I was doing those meetings here in my backyard, there was no evidence that we would be in 33 global countries. Now, they talked about it. That was a vision. There was no evidence even that people could be presidential diamonds in the company. So let me assure each of you right now, there should be no doubt in your mind that there is an income level, a pin level, a rank level for any kind of output level that you want to be engaged in, in ASEA. And here's what I tell you, if you wanna make a little bit of money, go help a few people. If you wanna make a lot of money, go help a lot of people and help those people as well create their business. And um, so let me tell you, the vision of ASEA just keeps getting bigger and bolder and more exciting because you guys, we haven't even really started. So that's what I would tell you. Denny, this is a treat to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. As <laughs> exactly. they say, I do have two horses. Into horses. I do Thank you horses. for stopping by yeah. and uh, sharing some of your wisdom with the CF5 tonight. You bet. Love Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Thank you. <clears throat> Isn't that great? Well, next on deck is one of my fan favorites, and that is Dr. Maureen Hayes. Um, I, I credit her with um, everything I know about ASEA. This is the, this is the individual who's responsible for um, holding my feet to the fire. And I, I've Good loved job. every minute of it, most every minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, it's so great to be here. Um, where am I looking? Where's the, right the camera? There's the oh, camera right hello. There. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. We're up in Spokane, Washington, as you probably figured out from now. And just got done talking to the crowd that's on the other side of the house where Dr. Dick Walker's house. It's absolutely freaking gorgeous up here. And we're doing kind of a diamond retreat. This is for a team of us who are on a mastermind. And we're forging out our tribe. And we came up with that word that because it stands for trust, respect, integrity, belief, and entrepreneurship. So, you know, the most, we talk a lot about Redox, right? And we've got our, our expert here, and I'm sure you guys all know about his book that he just wrote, already, I believe, a bestseller. So get to Amazon and order it. Look up Lee Osler, Redox Matters. And, you know, that has all the science. You want to dive deep into the science. The science is real. The science is true. And you can go down every rabbit hole or you can just read Dr. Dr. Lee's book because he's done it for you. As most of you know, I'm an anesthesiologist and pain specialist. And the reason that I am a part of this is because in the, the decades that I practiced medicine, I think we all did a really good job. Every doctor that I know 
seriously wants what's best for the patient. You know, I always hear people say, oh, it's all about the money. Not really. You know, doctors are well compensated, but we wouldn't go through what we went through just to make money. There's way easier ways to make money in the world. So we really want what's best. And for me, there was a, a failing that I recognized that, you know, after decades of practicing me, my husband, other physicians that we knew, people were still sick. In fact, they were probably sicker in general. There were more sick people. There were more diseases. People were getting sicker, younger. They were stressed out. And I thought there, ha there has to be something that's missing. And when I was introduced to this, I realized that this could be the missing link, that this is nothing. It's, it's really pretty simple. We get lost in the weeds of this, but it's just a biohack. It's just physiology. It's something that we have a full complement of when we're young and, you know, we can run around, we've got lots of energy, we can scrape our knees, we're healed the next day because our bodies are miraculous things. But as we get older, you know, we don't take the joke as well, right? You know, we, we don't bounce back like we used to. And we notice this, you know, you're in your 20s and your 30s, you're waiting. <laughs> Any of you waiting for the coffee to brew so you can get your first cup in the morning? Anybody leaning in the shower, hoping that Irish spring is going <laughs> to spring you into action? <laughs> you know, you know that you're getting older and that you don't have the same stamina that you did. Why is this? You have the same DNA. Well, this is a, an area of science that isn't well understood or wasn't even known about or known to be important until about 20 years ago. And it's taking its time to become mainstream, but it will. And that's what we have our hands on. We have a biohack that feeds this back into our bodies. It fixes the imbalances. It fixes the deficit and our cells work better. And you have to fix the cell to get well. And that's what we're doing here. And when that happens, your body takes over as the miraculous thing that it is, and it starts to heal itself, and your body starts looking younger and younger. Look how good Dr. Lee looks. Yeah. It's amazing. Every time I see him, he looks younger, more vital. So anyway, I hope you'll take a good look at this. I was telling the group back there that this has become my mission and my passion, but the word came out as mashing. So that's a new word. That's a mix mission. of <laughs> mission and passion. So I hope if you're watching this, if you're already a part of this, fantastic. If you're not a part of it, come join our tribe. We would love to have you. It's a great family and we're changing people's lives. So thank you so much. Thank so you, Dr. Lee. Tell us, um, you talked about some of the basic fundamentals, like wh what does this mean to a world in its health situation? I mean, aging, diseases. Yeah. You know, yeah, Jim's trying to get in here. But we'll, <laughs> it's wondering what was going on. Uh, you know, you guys, there are, there are diseases that when I was growing up, you never heard about. It was very rare. It was almost like somebody having leprosy or the plague or something. And now it's everywhere. You can't have a conversation with somebody who hasn't been touched by certain things. Our bodies are under attack constantly. Our environment is toxic. Our food is toxic. Our water, our air. Now we have electromagnetic fields that we're dealing with. Our cells are being bombarded. Our mitochondria that makes our energy, that runs our body are being bombarded. We don't have a lot to fight back with. You know, we talk about what you do that's good for your body, like sleep and hydration and good nutrition. And this is the thing, antioxidants, you guys are all drinking green tea and stuffing yourselves with blueberries, right? But what you may not have known is that they need to be activated. So when we talk about a missing link, um, or some people, it's like they flipped a switch. If you've ever heard Dr. Lee's story about his, his wife, this is something that was missing, that when you right the wrong, when you correct the deficit, all of a sudden, all of those systems start to work better again. And the results can be pretty amazing. Some people feel nothing. Maybe they're humming along, you know, they're already in a, in a, in a Tesla, right? But those of us who, who haven't changed the oil in our cars for a while, you know, when, you know, we're talking cars, but you only get one body, right? If you only had one car to drive for your entire life, I bet you would take a lot better care of it. You know, why don't we do that with our bodies, right? So this is just something that you can do to level the playing field. So I hope you'll take, take a good look at this. If you're not already, if you are, kudos to you. And we have another fan favorite coming up behind me, Dr. Dick Walker, emergency room doc for how many years, Dick? 38. 38. 38. And also 
climbed Mount Everest. I have to tell that because I have always wanted to climb Mount Everest or at least go to base camp and watch other people climb. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a fascination of mine. So I will let Dr. Dick come and tell his story. So thanks, everybody. Love you guys. See you thanks, next Marie. week. Thanks, Lee. So next we have Dr. Dick Walker. We are again here at his home and we appreciate him. He's he's like if you're in a bicycle race, he's he's like the the lead bicyclist that's out uh, giving the draft for us. So we tuck in behind him. <laughs> he has some amazing things to say uh, and does so on his uh, monthly, is it a monthly Saturday, uh, First Saturday month. webinar for physicians. And so if you, if you want to learn some of the science side of this, that's a great uh, thing to tag into. Dr. Dick. Yeah. Tell us I mean, about your uh, thoughts here. What's, what's coming to your mind is that you would like to share with the CFI world. You know, I think I think the the biggest thing, the most important thing to get across to people is how absolutely wonderful and powerful our bodies are at, at fixing and healing themselves if they're given uh, the right ingredients and they put their body in the right condition. Um, something that we call homeostasis is basically balance and providing your body with all of the tools that it needs because if our bodies weren't absolutely fantastic at self-healing, uh, the human race wouldn't have survived because Western medicine has only been around for maybe a hundred years, rightly. Uh, and before Western medicine, what did we do? Um, and so I think a lot of physicians uh, sometimes think a little uh, higher of themselves than they really are. And all we do is help the body to get better. And, and supplements are important. And along comes redox about 10 years ago. And I fortunately, I heard about it nine years ago and, and I started to look at it. And it turns out that redox signaling molecules are a vital ingredient. Yes, our body makes a certain amount of them uh, at the cellular level, but for many of us, it doesn't make enough. Um, as we get older, past the ripe old age of 30 or so, the numbers start to decline. Um, certainly if we've got any sort of disease or if we're pushing ourselves really hard or, you know, there's a lot of things out there that can decrease um, the amount of these molecules that are essential for communication within your body and for making all of the biochemistry work. And so these molecules are way more important, I think, than most people give them credit for, for making those fantastic systems in our body that are there to recognize when there's a problem and to go ahead and, and take care of it. And, and, you know, I have a degree in preventive medicine. And so I'm really big on taking care of things before they develop. You know, it's a lot, it's a, so much harder to try to help somebody to recover from an illness than it is to prevent it to begin with. Uh, that's pretty easy if you can get people just to do the right thing. Uh, and the right thing, it, it, you know, you can't do everything wrong and just, you know, bail yourself out by supplementing with redox molecules. I mean, sleep and exercise and you know, stress reduction, and those are all important things. Um, but you could be doing all of those things. And I've run into a lot of people that think that they're doing everything right, um, but they're not, uh, they're not supplementing with redox molecules and they may not be taking nutritional supplements. And when they add those things in, things start to happen. And, you know, they say, wow, I, I really didn't know uh, that that's what I needed. You know, they might be getting all the exercise they need, running, doing triathlons and wearing themselves out when they could be actually, you know, building things up. So these, you know, this technology is awesome. I'd like to say a little bit of business model. I was just going to, I was just going to ask if you'd jump to the other side of the yeah. coin and, and kind of ask the question or answer the question, why should, especially why should people who kind of already have things figured out in life, you know, why is this something that they ought to take a, a look at? You know, the business, you know, I, you know, as, as uh, excited as I am about the technology and love talking about it, I did not join this company because of the product. I, if, if, if there wasn't another reason, I would be taking the product quite happily and just be a customer. Um, but quite frankly, I was making plenty of money. I was full-time hospital-based emergency physician, but I was never home. I, I didn't have a life outside of the hospital. Nancy, my wife, who I think might talk for a few minutes later, was at that time full-time dental hygienist. We would pass in the driveway as I was coming home from the night shift and she was going out to work her job. And, and literally um, we would stop and say, how are the kids doing? We had three teenagers at home and it was like, life was crazy because we just didn't have a life outside of work and, uh, and you know some stuff with the kids. And 
man, I'll tell you, within within two years of starting my ASEA business, I was I was equaling and exceeding my salary at the hospital. And I thought, this is crazy. Why am I doing that? And I've been home based ever since. And I'll tell you, the freedom and the lifestyle associated with this business model are, are just absolutely incredible. You know, as an emergency physician in a group, we always had to work some shifts during a holiday. And then I was crazy enough to start a couple of urgent care centers. And if I couldn't get a doc to work on a weekend or a holiday, then, you know, who had to cover it. So I literally had not spent, you know, like a whole three day holiday weekend with my family for years uh, until I became successful in ASEA. So, you know, the freedom that you get from building a team uh, and receiving residual income I mean, it's just. Could, could you speak to that for just a moment? The, the team, it's been uh, mentioned a few other times, this team idea, like we're here getting some uh, leadership training on how to build a team. Uh, some of the people may not be, you know, who are watching this for the first time may not be familiar with what that means and how I could make an income off of a team that I put together. Yeah, and uh, the way the business structure works is is team-based, basically. Um, you're building a structure of people uh, in, a, in a hierarchy of organization. Everybody's an entrepreneur for themselves, but, um, but the leaders provide the teamwork and, and make sure that, that, every, that everything you need. For instance, I, there's not, there are other doctors involved in ASEA, but for my whole team, I'm available for validation of the product, doing videos and recordings and doing uh, things like this with on, on telephone calls and on Zoom videos. So we build teams and then we support those teams and everybody can't do everything. And so what's nice is, um, you know, we've got physical therapists on the team. We got some docs on the team. We got, you know, farmers on the team. You know, we got people from all walks of life. Um, so there's always somebody that can chip in. Well, see, that's what I, I hear in, in maybe people's back of their head. They're going, well, this is easy for you. You're a physician. I'm a dentist. It's like, you guys have this, you know, this is a health product. There's a, a lot of science to this, um, but but we're not. We're a farmer, or we're a, you know, we're a retail store owner, or you know, some other, or or a homemaker. Um, how does this level that playing field? Uh, it levels it because everybody starts out the same, uh, and uh, and you can always find someone to help you with the validation piece with the technology either either on a video or recording or live uh you know we don't get any uh any special dispensation for our professional uh credentials so it's it's really uh a very fair and egalitarian system really more than any other business i know of and i used to i can remember you know night shift in the er it gets a little quiet so you're sitting around talking to the nurses and a lot of times the, the conversation will get around to economics and they would say, gee, walk, Dr. Walker, you're making a lot of money. How can I do that? You know, and I never had any advice. I couldn't tell them. I, you know, my only advice would sound really crass. I could say, well, you go back to medical school and spend, you know, 14 years or whatever it would take, uh, which wasn't going to help anybody out. Uh, but now I, I've got a solution for anybody that wants to earn extra money and get the same kind of freedom we have. And it's just a matter of of, of uh, talking to people, showing them what we have, asking people, what do they need in life? What, how's their health doing? How are their finances doing? It's really a, a matter of just getting to know people and what they need. Uh, and I've, I've learned a lot about human interaction uh, in this business that I, you know, my wife used to say, your vocabulary is kind of limited, Dick. All you do is say, what hurts? You know, how long has it been hurting? Uh, and describe your symptoms, you know, and that kind of was my vocabulary for a long time. But now I've uh, really broadened the, uh, the uh, concept of, you know, what do you need in your life that you don't have? And a lot of times it's financial. A lot of times right. it's time and money. And um, now I've got an answer for that. It is so nice that that's layered on the kind of product that we have that is just, it's just uh, awesome. Yeah, I wouldn't have joined this company if it weren't for the product. Right. But I wouldn't have, did, but I didn't join the company just for the product. I joined the company for the financial opportunity, for the freedom that I knew that a residual income source would give me. I've got people in my organization that are still buying products that I introduced nine years ago, and I still get a small piece of that from the company. And so uh, they don't have to pay me. Company pays me. Right, and that's kind of the ultimate of diversification. Absolutely, yeah. across the across the world, across the world, a lot of marketplaces. Absolutely, well, Dr. Yeah. Dick, thank you for stopping by and sharing with our uh, CFI audience uh, some of your thoughts. We appreciate it.
Well, thank you for writing a book. Well, you're welcome <laughs> and helping me. Take, all right. Take all care, right. everybody. All right. Next, we have the lovely Ann Glenn. Uh, she's also a regular a CF5 host. And uh, she came all the way up from uh, sunny, humid, hot San Antonio yep. to be in a, a sunny and hot Spokane, <laughs> Washington. We don't have as much humidity here, obviously. But um, she's always lovely and charming, and she's got a, a really good understanding of, of this whole thing about nutrition and health and cellular wellness. Could you share with them and get, get, put you in the spotlight now? Tell, yeah. us, tell us what you would want to share. Yeah, I'll do that. And, and I try to uh, be as smart as Lee Osler. So <laughs> I don't know that anybody could catch up with them, but I am eager to read your new book. So, yeah, for those that are new on the show, I know we have quite a few um, Getting, getting on or are on or watch it later. And so I have a degree in nutrition science. I've been teaching nutrition fitness for almost 16 years. Never saw anything that was interest cellular until a CEO was introduced to us six years ago. And for us, it was a physical need, a great physical need for my husband. Uh, at the time we were married 13 years and he suffered all of those days that we were together. Um, he, of course, had back discomfort. He was consuming close to 530 pills a month. And in a very short few days, he started already seeing the brain fog lift. He started seeing discomfort lift. Um, he got to be uh, normal as far as the way he is air, you know, breathing, all those things of the Texas um, stuff in the air. He just couldn't tolerate that started being normal where he had a very normal breathing and, and um, head cleared. And then uh, because of back surgeries, 10, it causes the, you know, the scar tissue and just cause there's a lot of discomfort in, in one particular leg, even that as serious it as it was um, and the consumption of the med for six, seven years, even that subsided after 90 days and of course we're not claiming to cure diagnose or treat but we know the body the way it's designed has the ability to heal itself and i never saw that in the nutrition world you know there's so many opinions uh it's complicated i couldn't get many people to even listen to the way a regimen should be and with redox signaling you know it's native to the body the body knows how to receive it, can't be allergic to yourself. And so this is why it made such a difference for Jim. And so we got into it um, pretty quickly, even though we were both working at, at corporate America type jobs. But after a year and a half, you know, Jim's heart and soul was all in ASEA and we couldn't just both jump ship. So I continued to work full time. Um, I had already my degree, so I was able to continue doing what I was doing with some clients, but my heart was always on a CIA. And so three years ago, I went full-time and that's what we do around the world is share our story and share how SIA made a difference, not only on the physical realm, but for us, it saved our house, um, which we could have lost two and a half years ago. So we stepped in a leap of faith and maybe we, jumped in too soon, but our, again, our heart was there. So the Lord worked it out to where we got a growth of teams and we have people we love that we're, we business partner with. And just in a matter of time, the income just built, a, you know, each team built upon the next. And we ended up matching what we were used to before ASEA. We were able to match that uh, with ASEA and, um, we were able to save a house that we love for 11 years. Now we're gonna embark on some remodel and fix the place the way we'd like it to be. So, you know, we're excited for the future. We're thankful that the freedom we have with the time, freedom with the income, we can um, help do things with our kids or for our kids. We have six combined. And so, um, you know, can't say enough. If you knew our full story, you'd be like, wow i mean it, it's truly a miracle and so uh, you know i pray those that are watching that you'll just take a look at this the science is valid uh, we know it works we wouldn't be using it for six years if it didn't work 
and um, you know whatever blessings you can get from the business side every dollar we make is because of another life that was changed and so thank you very much for being a part of our show every Friday night and tonight's real special being here together in person and uh, we'll see you next week for those that come back so. thank you Ann we will see you next week yes, yes. thank you well, we now have a special treat from the Bay Area in California, all the way up to Spokane, and that's the Osea Redox Fireball that we call Masami. Nice to see Masami you, Masami Handler. She is, um, I, I say fireball because every time I'm around her, I get excited because of her energy. So Masami, you've, you've been up here in Spokane and uh, shared some of this um, uh, drinking the Osea juice, literally, okay. right? Tell us what your impressions are and what you would say to the OSEA Five World. Okay, so um, thanks for having me today. Um, I started actually seven years ago. Uh, my background is uh, my husband and I own a health clinic in Santa Cruz for 36 years, and we have also multiple different businesses. Uh, one of my, actually my friend actually approached to me as a business opportunity. And uh, at the time, I was not interested to take another business opportunity. So thank you very much. Sounds very interested, but um, I'm just, you know, not interested to join. Well, a month later, unfortunately, a doctor made a mistake that I had really, um, it's called C disease that I still can't find the cure for it. So a doctor told me if I don't do the surgery, well, I might not be able to live for another six months. So I had a surgery and they took more than one third of my liver out. That was really, very you know, just dramatic. And um, I got a depression and my body started hurting and it, just, it was just awful expense. Story make very short. Um, I thought about those redox molecules like, okay, something to do with your you know, cell communication, non-toxic in your body. So if you drink it, you know, our body knows what to do with it. I thought, I'm gonna try this. Well, I told my husband, and of course, you know, he's a doctor and he never heard about the redox molecule. He thought it was like, absolutely a joke. Salt water, it's nail marketing product. Masami, you should be smarter than that. Don't buy it. Well, I'm smart enough, I bought the product. Since it's not, you know, uh, non-toxic, I decided to drink, we don't have a big bottle, okay? I decided to drink a bottle a day because I was desperate. My body was hurting, you know, depression, all of it. And start doing straight five days. After doing five days in a CIA, every symptom went away. Every symptom. Depression uh, started going away. Pain started going away. Um, start feeling better. More energy. That, you know, I just could not believe the, what I'm experiencing. So after that, I start sharing you know, and I, as I was a massage therapist, and I'm always interested in the health, you know, better health is just like, if you don't have a health, nothing left, right? So not knowing that not much technology that we have a great website, you know, called www.amazingmolecule.com. You go there and just watch the video, learn about it, and just to try it, non-toxic. So that's kind of how I really started and become such a it's more than passion. It's an on. It's it's become a mission for me. So I decided to become not to become a massage therapist. I retire from that, and then I decided to do full time and and a sale business. And the best decision I made because now I have a freedom. I work from home. Uh, I'll come a company in thirty two countries. I have a business in, in different countries, and I meet beautiful people. I can help and you know help and finance in the both ways. So if you are uh, first time listen to this you know, webinar, please learn more about it and, and try this product. And if you really get good result, you know, you, you will share, share this opportunity, you know, either you know, health size or financial size. So I'm just so grateful and I'm here to just actually enjoy a leadership meeting in Spokane, Washington is 100 degrees, isn't it? And it, I'm from California. It's like, wow, this is really hot. But anyway, it's just nice to be here and sharing amazing you know, story and then uh, share this information because you are not going to hear from TV or anywhere. You know, people who knows using the product will share. So, and anyway. Why aren't we hearing that from everywhere? I mean, why, why, is, the, why is it this methodology? 
Yeah, you know, because the word of mouth is the best way to learn. If you, you know, the commercial, you can cost a lot of money in advertisement. And if you have the product was so amazing there. If you find in whole food, people look at the bottle, salt in the water, people's not going to understand that, you know? So it's a word of mouth is the best way to share it. Like if you go to a great restaurant, a great movie, watch a movie, you tell your friends, right? Hey, you know, I'm at an amazing restaurant. You should go. Would you go? Right? Right. Yeah. So, so what does your husband, Bruce, think about this now? So now my husband <laughs> thinks like, oh my God, this is such an amazing product. So now he share it, you know, with the patient. And also his father has a really, you know, chronic disease there seven years ago also. And still he's alive. He's 95 years old and he's amazing. So, you know, my husband's a share with a client as well, too. He's so happy that we discovered this year. Well, thank you for stopping by and sharing your story with yeah. us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we want to emphasize the importance of a, uh, Marsha, go ahead and come in here. This is Marsha White. Um, before we actually do that, I just want to make one comment here, and that is uh, the disclaimer is that ASEA is not a cure. It's not for diagnosing, um, and we don't treat diseases with it. And so even though we may uh, allude to uh, specific uh, disease conditions, um, that's not what we're doing with these. We're, as Dr. Walker said earlier, we're allowing the body to heal itself from within, and it does the healing. And so we don't. Uh, we just want to make sure that that's really clear with everybody. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> Marsha White is. Uh, I, I've been following her on social media because that's about as close as I want to get to all the things that she <laughs> does, which is like run her little backside off. She is a. Ironman competitor is in a yeah, yeah. She's she's right, like in the right lake here. and running and bicycling. And so it's a pleasure to have you with us to the, maybe you can share your story yeah. and your thoughts here. You know, I was just listening to Dr. Walk, Dr. Walker a minute ago, because as you know, we're having a, another meeting on the other side of the house. And he was talking about how um, we don't know until we get our redox on board what our body can really do, whether it's, you know, we've mm -hmm. got a health challenge and we can overcome it or even pushing our body to maybe some of its limits. And before Redox, I was lucky if I could do, I would do what's called a sprint triathlon every year, just something to keep me in shape so that I could, you know, get through the hour and a half sprint triathlon without dying. You know, it was slow. My kids actually would ride their bikes alongside me and sing to me. So I would keep going on the run because it was <laughs> so hard to do. And I never in my wildest ever dreams imagined that I would do an Ironman triathlon, which is swimming 2.4 miles, followed by 112 bike, followed by a marathon running or run walking, which a lot of people do, including me. You know, it's, it's 16, 17 hours worth of, of racing for me. I'm not fast, but um, I do it and I'm, I'm doing it. I have my next one coming up in half. I'm doing a half in May in September and then doing a full Ironman in November in Cozumel. Oh my. So it's, it's, it's been a great journey. So, so while you're speaking to that, speak to why, um, why a CA redox signaling molecules would be of help in that kind of a situation. What's the benefit? The benefit is incredible on the endurance of your, um, of my time, but especially the recovery. For example, um, Dexter, Dexter Yates, some of you may have heard of her. She's a world champion triathlete. She's 76, so she'll be 76 years old next week. And she's my cycling buddy. And she qualifies for the world championships. She'll be going to Kona, uh, Hawaii for the world championships in October. And she's the one that kind of got me to realize I could go these further distances. And we go every Wednesday, we go out and ride anywhere from 60 to 110 miles. And then we have to get in the car and drive 45 minutes to where I meet her in the morning. But we get, we get off the bike and we get right in the car. And you would think that you would be, by the time you got out of the car 45 minutes later, that you'd get up and you're kind of quirky and, oh, you know, what did I do? And both of us drink eight ounces of redox as soon as we get in the car and we get out of the car and we go, oh my gosh, it's again, you know, you can get your bikes loaded up and, and it's like, we haven't done much. So it, it's the recovery is just incredible. And then we're ready to go the next day. I back before redox, if I was to do something, I had to take a day off because my feet would hurt, my body would hurt. Um, I just didn't have the energy to do something the next day, even though it was just a little bit I was doing then. And 
And now, you know, last week I rode my bike over 200 miles and I ran 20 some miles and I swam about 8,000 yards, um, you know, and, and, and I'm great today. <laughs> so the recovery is incredible. Isn't this inspiring? <laughs> it's like, I mean, I'm tired just listening to her describe what she's doing, but. Um, yeah, and then the other thing is the endurance to be able to keep going. It's, you know, I, I'm really excited because I see Dexter going at 76 and I think I'm just getting started doing this at 63, well, 62, almost 63. And, you know, the quality of life that we can have as we use these redox molecules in our body to allow our body to respond and react in the way it was meant to, instead of just having to go, oh, you know, I'm getting old, I think I better slow down. We can still try new things. We've had, um, you know, as you've met people tonight, we've had all these people up at our house um, here for the week. And we've been taken out yesterday, went out kayaking for and canoeing for, golly, I don't know, we were out on the lake for probably six, seven hours. And we're a bunch, you know, we were a bunch of older, as my kids might say, <laughs> people. And, and people were trying new things that they hadn't done instead of it at 60, you know, saying, I can't do things, I need to start backing off. They were trying kayaking, they were trying, you know, hiking up hills to see neat things, trying uh, canoeing. Um, even even uh, Donna Lynn's husband, who has some health challenges, he had a, a health issue that has left him with his left side not working and functioning like he'd like. And even he, you know, climbed in, we were able to get him into the motorboat and, and go out and spend the day and, and come on out and, and something he never thought he would do again, but because of redox and allowing his body to do what his body can do at its best, he's being able to really participate in life. Today we had <laughs> kind of crazy, but we had a water balloon fight with everybody and, and uh, just, you know, we, we're, all of our bodies are able to move to do those kind of joyful things that a lot of people are saying, oh, I'm too old for that. <laughs> so it's pretty fun. That, that is a great comment. I appreciate you uh, doing that. Thank you for stopping by yeah. and sharing your story. That's incredible. So yeah, I, I do feel inspired. I'm not going to go to a triathlon this week, but uh, you uh, might enjoy it. Maybe. Hey, there's Jim. All right. There. We have Jim in the house, our roving <laughs> CFI five reporter. Jim, are you with us? <clears throat> He's on his, uh, his, his cell phone out on the other side of the house, and it looks like we're getting a little bit of freezing. Jim, are you there? We'll have to be patient with it. There were some of you who were um, asking in the chat about the uh, the book. Um, this is a uh, card for the book. Uh, Are Redox, you talking about your book again? Well, I was waiting for you to show Jeez, up. Lee. Redoxmatters.com is the place to get that. So someone was asking about it. All righty. Well, Dick, or what, what's, what's your name? What's going on here? I don't know. I've been running crazy. Uh, hey, guys, we want to thank you. We've been having a meeting over on the other side. I, I was trying to show my camera all the time. But it kept showing me. It kept showing, yeah, going in and out. Yeah. So then anyway, I, I finally got to show the crowd, but we've had a wonderful meeting here uh, in Spokane, Wash. Actually, Mead, right? In this Mead, Technically Washington. Technically, Mead. So next week, uh, we have an amazing testimonial, guys, that you're not going to want to miss. Uh, we've got Sean Burke along with Brendan Nichols. Uh, he's a young man that was in a really serious automobile accident. And we'll have Sean Burke, who is an amazing athlete and an amazing testimonial himself. And, uh, and then after that, we got Dr. Lee Osler uh, talking more about why you did Redox Matters. Do you want to touch on that a little bit? What time do we have? We've got like two minutes, three two minutes, minutes here. So uh, this is amazing that you've done that. Well, you know, I had a lot of people come to me um, saying, where's the science? You know, you're, you're making these... Uh, somewhat claims you know relative to how it works and it was really tough to show the science and we all we've all known that's a tough place to come from just because of the nature of the type of supplement that this so is. you did this more for well, you I, I did i started it out for me because i had to i had to know that it was grounded um, i i did a tour of the facility two two and a half years ago and was very impressed with that but then i do, i dove into the the actual literature that's out there there's, there's tens and tens of thousands of articles that are all peer reviewed, that are published, 
which means they've been approved and uh, they, they develop a chain of custody for the science that, that um, evolves and you can make certain conclusions, at least in this case, about the base science. And that's what I wanted to do. It was to prove that for me and then to connect those dots together and somehow relate it to what we're doing with helping people. Yeah, but healthy. what was so amazing about yours is that you had an amazing transformation in a loved one. And that's what started your journey. And that is what we'll get into uh, in a couple of weeks. We'll, so guys, we'll tell that story. Yeah. So Lee, thank you so much. Uh, it's an honor to be here uh, in his backyard and not mine. So guys, thank you so much. Stick around for the Aussies. They're coming up next. And we do look forward. Uh, the four of us will be back. Uh, we're going home tomorrow evening. So guys, we thank you so much for uh, faithfully attending the ASEA 5. God bless and go get the book by Lee Osler, Redox Matters on Amazon.com, correct? Redoxmatters.com. So guys, thank you. God Bye -bye, bless. Everybody. See you guys. See ya. Bye.